It's Memorial Day weekend Saturday, and I'm feeling good about Somebody it. Somebody vandalizes your sign the night before a holiday weekend. I moved a lot of crabs yesterday, and there's a lot of demand, I think, and the weather is beautiful. Today is going to be my big win. Oh, no. Oh, you're kidding. I'm really thinking it is. One guy told me I was an effing ripoff. The win that I've been looking for since I started this crabbing season. Finally ended up getting into some crabs. A true, uh, true Forrest Gump story from going to catching in the single digits to catching a trailer full. But not only did I steal CJ's brush that he's never used. He's stealing stuff. Get it. Get it. And his buckets that are stuck together. Also, he nabbed his crew for uh, some indentured servitude here. <laughs> Working at the stand. Combs and crabs. Getting to work. That's right. So if you're new here, I need to remind you too sometimes. I am a commercial crabber. I catch and sell all my own crabs direct to customer. It's great. It's awesome. It is an immense amount of work because I handle everything from catching the crabs and everything that's involved in that, which is more than a full-time job, plus selling all the crabs as well, which means answering the phone, keeping track of things. It's a lot. The way the crab market is going these days, you almost have to sell your own crabs because there's not enough money selling wholesale and retail really to make a good living and have enough money to not only survive, but also advance. Right. People always ask, do you get pinched? The answer is yes, every day by like almost every crab. I've been doing this for quite a while and I still get pinched constantly. It is Saturday morning and I'm putting together all my pre-orders. I had a guy that ordered five bushels of crabs full price. I don't usually make exceptions, but I'm here putting his crabs together and I'm gonna go drive him and deliver him a little early for him. He spent a lot of money on these crabs and I really appreciate it. I understand how hard money is to come by these days. Trust me, every dollar I have is incredibly hard earned. I really, really try to take care of people when they're gonna spend a lot of money. I mean, any, any person, I try to take care of anybody. I understand these crabs, they're not the cheapest, but I do every single thing I can possible to truly deliver the very best product I can. It's a Saturday between two holidays, and as I predicted, very, very slow today. Lindsay is doing her best to get people in the stand. That's the kind of energy I like. You're doing great, honey. I'm killing it. It's wife material right there. This is Lindsay's version of work in the corner. My vacation. That's right. She's she's earning that vacation. I better take her somewhere nice. Hey. <laughs> That's right. Help us pay rent. It's just been slow today. Not a lot. It was overcast and kind of raining all morning, and there was like nobody. As soon as the sun comes out, you get a wave of people. It's crazy. I, you could count on it every time. Actually, I know better than to say that you can count on anything in this business. So this is the second half of my job after I catch the crabs Monday through Friday. I sit on the side of the road at my lot here in Glen Burnie and sell the crabs. We don't have a whole lot. These ones are dead. I go through everything right before you buy it to make sure everything's alive. Got some extra larges, larges, mediums. There's a large in there. And a bunch of smalls. I'm running sales on smalls I have. Selling crab business is tough. And people ask me, what is the hardest part about crabbing? and 100% market. Market is the hardest part. You can catch every crab you want, but if you can't sell it, it's not worth anything. I sold all my crabs to markets, wholesalers, restaurants for the first seven years of my crabbing career. Last year, my eighth year, really rolled the dice. I bought this lot, bought this trailer, and moved to selling all directly to consumer, which is a huge risk in this industry. I don't want to say blacklisted, but if you start selling your own crabs direct to customer, none of the restaurants or wholesalers want to buy from you because your competition, and they're going to assume that you're doing something like pulling all the nice ones. If you go to selling all your own crabs, you have to commit to selling all your own crabs. And when you fish a big operation like me with 900 pots in the water at a time, and you're fishing five days a week, that is a lot of crabs to have to hustle by yourself. So it is another complete full-time job. Uh, I crab Monday through Friday and my ritual is in the morning. I write my ad for crabs on the way out. And while I'm crabbing, I have people text me their orders and then on the way in, I'm responding. And then after I get off the water, I go and uh, run, do my chores and then fulfill the orders and then meet everybody in town or up here at my lot, depending on what day it is. And then Fridays, I go crabbing and then take the trailer up here 
And then Saturdays and Sundays, I don't crab, but I'm sitting up here 11 to 5 at 7333 East Furnace Branch Road selling crabs. So basically I work all week, sell as many as I can during the week. I run a lot of sales and then the weekend comes around and I'm up here trying to make the money back. And then you add in trying to make videos and everything else. It's basically like three full-time jobs. I don't sleep. I have no time to do anything. Everybody wants to be a crabber until you can't see any of your friends or go on vacation or do anything fun from March till November. My lot up here actually I bought as just a big grass lot and it was completely covered in garbage and junk. And over the past couple of years, I've done a lot of work to make it a lot prettier. I put in all this gravel, cleared the curb cut that was completely buried in trash and dirt. I didn't even know that asphalt was there when I bought the place. I had to get a machine in here and scrape it all off. I had to open up the drainage ditches because this place would flood all the time with garbage. And I have put in this parking pad. I actually got it expanded twice because when it gets busy here, people are parked all the way around the street sometimes. Hopefully one day I'll have a building to sell crabs out of. The property just goes all the way along here, all the way to the back. Pulled my truck with my trailer here, set up a tent with a table, all kinds of people all the time with super loud cars. I can't have a sign in the ground because of the county, so I built it on a jet ski trailer out of some scaffolding parts and piece of plywood out of the side of a u-haul truck that way it's mobile and i took the tongue off so it's kind of hard to steal you got to earn it if you want to steal my trailer you're gonna have to get creative i hope one day i look back at this and think about how i started at a grass lot uh, selling crabs out of a trailer but you never know i might be still here doing this in 20 years well as i anticipated that was a slow slow day there's still a couple crabs we got to sell hopefully tomorrow and the generator ran out of gas right on cue. My generator isn't that great on gas, but it's crazy. The last two times I've had it out, it's run out right exactly at closing time, like minutes before closing time. I can't imagine this is gonna go very well, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh no, oh no. Oh my God, the wind. Come on. Nice. I'm covered in gas. I would use the uh, nozzle that comes on it, but that's the only way you ensure you actually spill more gas than doing this. They don't work. I don't know a single person that ever uses those. Everybody unscrews them and dumps gas all over themselves. That's the most typical government solution I've ever seen. Create something that's completely useless, and then people just bypass the thing that's completely useless and do twice as much harm as they did before. Nice. Didn't spill a drop. Well, it's Sunday here, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little nervous. Sales are super slow. I'll replace the uh, glow plug relay in my 7.3. One of the advantages of being a child-sized man is that when you gotta work on your truck, you just get in the truck. We don't have a terrible amount of tools here, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna uh, start on bolting, I guess. I'm pretty sure you're probably supposed to, you know. Oh, God, disconnect the battery. I feel like that's more of a suggestion than anything, really. I'm one of those guys, I don't know what any of the wires do. I just know to put them back exactly the way I found them. I've never had so little demand in the spring. People are seeing the ads and my prices are competitive with everybody else, even a little less. I'd love to drop all the necessary parts into this hot crevasse. Oh no, oh you're kidding. I just dropped the only socket. Oh my God. I hate working on my truck. This project just went from stupid to even stupid. It's the only full socket set I had too, and now it's missing a socket. I have two days to make a week's worth of payback. Not a good sign that this early in the year, people are not buying crabs. The other dilemma today is that it's super windy and my tent keeps trying to evacuate the premises. May have to zip tie it to that fence and use that cinder block over there to hold it down. Why does it always come to this? It always comes to me and crunch time trying to fix something that's stupid with no tools in a place where I have no business working on things. I hate this, 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 I hate this. It's so stupid, this job should take three seconds. If I heard the right- I know I have something in here that I can at least get to work, I'm sure, but I'll never find it. Oh yeah, all the essentials, perfect putting a lot of faith in these little zip ties. Just as much faith as I am in these people to show up and buy these stinking crabs. All right, I got one more socket I think I found. It's 
not exactly it, but I think it will work. If I drop this one, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to use a hammer to jump my glow plug relay every time from now on. Such a weird business. I have 10 extra larges left, right? Because I don't want to give people crabs that are dead. So I've been telling people, 85 bucks for 10 extra large crabs. They're $100 a dozen. That's the same math. It comes out to be like a dollar, a dollar more than it should be a dozen crabs or something, $85. One guy told me I was an effing ripoff. You want me to give you dead crabs so you can have a dozen for $100? I'm trying to like do the right thing here and not sell people crabs that are dead or not of the best quality and people think I'm ripping them off. Totally understand why a lot of people that sell crabs just don't care, they're sleazy because I'll tell you what, you try to take care of your customers and you really gotta work hard to find the ones that are also gonna take care of you. And I have a lot of those and I'm really grateful for them. I'll tell you what, sometimes it tests my patience. Not the good ones, the bad ones. So much of like sales I've found, it doesn't have to make the most sense on paper. It just has to make the most sense to whoever has to buy it. It's so weird to me, it's not how I think at all. I think very analytically. When it comes to sales to the general public, they think analytically to a point, and then once you hit that point, you have to just figure out what works. It's very weird. All right, let's see if it works. Nothing is on fire yet, that's a good sign. It appears to be working. The true test will be when it actually needs to use the relay, which is not right now, because it's warm. We'll find out the next cold day if it truly does work. Ah yes, the day continues to get awesome. I just smelled rubber, the refrigerator quit being cold, and the belt broken. So, luckily I do have another one. Unluckily this thing is smoking hot. And I got a fridge full of crabs to try to keep alive, so. What a day. All right, it's working. Seems to be okay for now. Cold, a half an hour left. See what all it takes to keep the wheels on this operation for a day. We got 15 minutes left. I think somebody's gonna pull through last minute. I hope so. Well, we did not sell the last couple crabs. I might cook a couple up for Lindsay tonight for dinner. Now we just gotta clean everything up. I gotta go scrub the trailer out and go pick up bait and get ready to go crabbing tomorrow. Start it all over again. This is gonna be a busy week here. Really gonna be a tough one. We got a holiday weekend coming up. Sundays in Baltimore, baby. It's Memorial Day weekend Saturday. I'm feeling good about it. I moved a lot of crabs yesterday and there's a lot of demand. Oh yeah. Wow, we haven't even opened yet. We've sold almost all the crabs. Huge rush. I think it's gonna be good. Check this guy out. He's got some crazy points on him there. Well, you know you're doing something right when somebody vandalizes your sign the night before a holiday weekend. That's all right. I know exactly who it was, so we'll stay tuned for the uh, security footage from the neighbor. Because I needed a new sign anyway. This one was kind of old and outdated, so thanks for helping me decide to get a new sign. Also, thank you for dumping all the dead fish and crabs here, if, as if it wasn't any more obvious as to who you were. It's great for the grass dummy. See, when you're in my position and you bust your butt to build a business and something you're really proud of, you have something to lose. So you really can't do anything to a bunch of low-life losers that want to take it away from you because they've made nothing of themselves. You can't hurt somebody that has nothing. Finally sold out. It took forever. I had a huge rush of people and then literally not a single customer, phone call, message, nothing for two hours. And all I had left was like a bushel and a half of small males. I tell you what, they really ought to just change the size limit on crabs in Maryland. They want more crabs. They're trying to come up with all these solutions, saying we're catching too many. Make it a five and a half inch crab the whole year long. That's how you get better crabs. You can only catch a crab once. Why don't you catch it when it's worth three times the money? I mean, of course, that will never happen because all the picking houses want to keep uh, buying crabs dirt cheap to pick them for meat and screw the crabbers over. So they'll never be able to vote a law like that into existence because in order for something to happen like that, they have to have a solution where the people that are rich stay rich and the watermen stay poor so you can rip them off all the time. I'm probably gonna start throwing back little crabs, honestly. I don't I don't even wanna kill them for, for, for the money I get for them after, the, after today. I might keep a couple to sell when I need to, but 
I, it's just a pain to, to move little crabs anyway. And every crabber I know says the same thing. I tell you what, this was a win. This was a win. I got proof that I'm killing it and I sold all the freaking crabs. This is awesome. Money making weekend for me. And now I got a couple days off. I'm pumped. This is awesome. This was the win that I needed to keep going. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting a little bit of wind knocked out of my sail there for a minute. It was getting a little, uh, a little lacking in silver lining, but I'll tell you what, today was amazing. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much to all my fans and my super fans and my customers for coming and buying crabs. Hmm. It's the kind of win I needed to get me to the, get me through the next couple months. So I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome, awesome.